This edition of Tech Garage, presented by Advance Auto Parts, is being brought to you by Optima Batteries, powering your passion. Stage 8, the world's best locking fastener. Steel rubber, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. And by Advance Auto Parts. Let's get you back to the garage. Welcome back to Tech Garage. You can see we've got the worn winch mounting plate and the winch married up. Three of the four bolts are in and they're torqued. You gotta follow your torque specs here. You also wanna follow the order of instructions in assembling this. You gotta put the fair lead in first so you can get access to those bolts and get that good and tight and snug. Then the winch goes down into the cradle. Now I gotta tell you, probably the most popular tool in the job so far today has been this extendable magnet. It allows me to get the square nut into tight quarters down here where it belongs. You can also see out to the side there, we've got a heavy gauge wire. So with the nut in place, the final bolt goes in, it grabbed, we'll torque this down properly, and the next consideration is the wiring. On our Jeep, Warren's provided us plenty of cable length here to get where we need to be. But if you have to modify or add to it for your vehicle, make sure you use the right gauge wire. It's critical not only for performance and safety of your system, your personal safety as well. Now there's a reason why Warren uses a wire this thick on that winch, and I got a good demonstration to show you why. Got some circuits laid right here on the board so you can actually see. This one here is fuse protected circuit number one. And what I'm gonna do is hook it up, and anytime you had a short circuit, which could happen with your winch, what's happening is the amps are gonna bypass the actual circuit, and they're gonna run so fast, it's actually gonna blow this fuse right here. So if we watch this fuse and I touch this instantaneously, that's gonna pop, that's good, that's the weakest link, that's not gonna burn the actual circuit itself. Our next circuit, if we move over to it, well this one's protected by a circuit breaker. Now a circuit breaker is a resettable device, it's basically just gonna open up with heat and then reclose. So I'll come over to this one here and I'll short it once again and this is gonna happen. You see the lights go out, but if you wait a minute, it's cooled down, once it cools down, the lights come back on. Now here's the example I was talking about with the winch and why it's so important to keep that wire in good shape because this one here is a fusible link. And just imagine, this is the winch wire right here and then you go ahead and put a little wire in the middle of it, not a good idea. That's a fusible link, that's designed to burn, but even on the winch, that's going to burn with enough amp flow. And if I come over right here and I go from here and I short this out, now remember our Optima here is pushing out 750 cold cranking amps, that's more than enough to do the job. Those amps are gonna run so fast and so much that it's gonna burn this link right in half and that's the weakest link and I'll show you how that works. You don't want that to happen on the Jeep. I think Brian's calling, I better head over. Before we set this winch in place, you wanna put your spacer washers in place right on top of the sway bar mount, got them stacked up right. Again, this is gonna create level between the top of that bolt and the top of the bumper. That's important so we get a good fit. I gotta tell you, this thing is a beast. You need a buddy to help you here. Hey John, can you give me a hand? Yeah, I got this it, I thing got it, I know. It's heavy and awkward. All right, why don't you take that? Got that. We'll see if we can get it, you ready? All right, I'm ready. One, two, three, all right. So we don't have to final fit it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to run these wires. All right, I'll hold it forward for you. You wanna get the wires through the grill there? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use some openings we've got here and be opportunistic about this. You know, you could run the wires down under the vehicle to come back up to the battery, but why? You're potentially putting them in harm's way. We know we're gonna do some off-roading, so I'm gonna carefully run these. Now, as you run them wires, it's really important. We just saw earlier. Make sure you don't nick them or chafe them through any of the steel. You wanna get some wire loom or some wire straps, tie them up, maybe find some existing wire harnesses. Go with that, get it directly to the battery. You saw what happened, if it hits metal, that's a direct short, you're gonna cause a fire. Also, you wanna keep it away from any heat source. Heat, well, that causes resistance, and this motor needs a certain amount of voltage and amps, and if you got resistance, you're not gonna get that, and that's gonna cause a problem. It Boy, this fits thing really nice, right fits behind like a the glove. bumper guard. Yep, I'm just going to put these original hooks back on there, which is absolutely perfect. We'll go ahead and get this thing bolted up. Bolt drops right into place. I love the fact that we can use the, the tow hooks we had on here. Exactly, it's looking good, real good. Now, as I tighten this back up, we're going to show you the amp drawn. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back with more Tech Garage presented by Advance Auto Parts. 
Adding mechanical load to an electrical circuit, A, decreases resistance, B, increases amperage, C, decreases amperage, or D, decreases voltage? Find out the answer when we come back.